Christy Carlson has finally relinquished her lead over Tara Leho in a very close race. That's right, they were tied coming into this weekend. Tara won the first race today and looked very strong in doing so. Christy, on the other hand, was struggling right from the very beginning. She now has her work cut out for her. It should be interesting. What we want to do now is take a look at the course, and the IJSBA has set up an interesting one today in West Virginia. Well, also a couple of interesting factors affecting the racing out there. One is that there is a current. The other is that there's a seawall down the front straightaway, which makes that front straight very rough, a treacherous area on the race course. Another interesting factor is the starting area. It's full of rocks, very slippery, another critical factor in this race. Great conditions if you like heat and humidity. We are dealing with the three H's, heat, humidity, and a lot of haze. As it looks like it's very comfortable out there. It's about mid-90s, a lot of humidity, water temperature pretty warm, so that should really be a factor. But the Ohio River is known for having floating debris, and that's something else we'll have to watch for. But right now, we are on the line, and they are set to go. We have a clean start, Larry. Jill Orton on the outside, Christy Carlson and Michelle Payne. Those three going into the first turn, and Christy Carlson now looks like she's going to take the whole shot. Christy Carlson, the five-time world champion, holding the line, but back comes Michelle Baines. They bump, and Christy Carlson goes down. Oh, and Ashley Hollenbeck uses Christy for a ramp. There's got to be some hull damage there. Christy's back up, but it looks like she's not injured herself, but her machine has had to have sustained some injuries there. Amazingly, no injuries it looks like at this time. Christy Carlson gets back up, but a moment later, if she would have put her head up any sooner, she could have had it taken off. Michelle Baines, then, is our race leader as she goes out in front, down the front stretch by the seawall. Larry, that was one of the most incredible wrecks we've seen all year. That was an unfortunate incident. I don't think it was anybody's fault in particular. It was just some people being in the wrong place at the wrong time. Ashley Hollenbeck had nowhere to go. Christy turned sideways right in the middle of the straightaway there. Very lucky, though, nobody was injured. Good thing her boat was in the way, and Ashley Hollenbeck used her boat instead of Christy Carlson's head for a launching pad. But meanwhile, the rookie on the PJS Kawasaki, Michelle Baines, out of Chino, California, is being closed in on fast by number five, Tara Leto, out of Lake Havasu, Arizona. This is definitely a battle worth watching. Both of them need the points desperately to catch and pass Christy Carlson, who is currently in seventh place. Tough day for Christy Carlson already. History in the making right now. Tara Lejo up in second place position. And Christy struggling with her machine. She hit the buoy there. She is really shaken up, I think, with that first turn crash. She has got her work cut out for her. A lot of ground to make up. And with Tara Lejo in second place position, she is going to lose a lot of points. Looks like her boat is running okay. But again, like you said, it could be an emotional thing, psychological. That was an amazing accident. Our current leader, though, Michelle Baines, 29. She is on the PJS Kawasaki, looking very strong. She's got the clean water. Right behind her, Tara Leho in second place. Another very strong rider. It's someone definitely to factor into the national championship. Well, Tara's hopes for a national championship looking very strong right now. She won the first moto earlier today. We'll have more racing when we come back. Welcome back to Huntington, West Virginia. Stop number seven on the Budweiser Watercraft Series Tour. Todd Harris along with Larry Rippenkroger. And Larry, so far, the story today has been that incredible accident on the first lap. Michelle Baines didn't cause, but she was involved in. She continues to lead, however, followed by Tara Lejo, Tina Martinez, Don Wood, and Terry Norwood. And with all that chaos, the stage is set for an upset in the national points race out in front of Michelle Baines, but more importantly, Tara Leho in second place. She won the first moto, a strong finish, and this moto will give her a substantial lead over Christy Carlson. Tara Leho would like nothing more than to sweep this stop number seven, really catapulting her ahead of Christy Carlson. But Christy right now has her problems. She can't worry about the points. She's got to worry about how to get back in this race. And in third place, Tina Martinez, one of the strongest rides we have seen from her thus far this season. Tina Martinez on boat number seven out of Las Vegas, Nevada, a very strong rider. And she is another rider who's always in the top five. So this category really opening up. It's no longer Christy Carlson's category two dominate. And she is having her own problems out there continually running in seventh place still. Christy Carlson bobbles and goes around the wrong side of the buoy. Christy caught an edge, went to the inside of the buoy. She has to circle back and pick it up. In doing so, she drops another position. She is struggling like I've never seen her struggle. Whether it's a handling problem with the machine, whether it's some emotional problem after that crash, one way or maybe a combination of both, but one way or another, she is having her troubles. In fact, we're going to take a look at that crash again. Here is Michelle Baines, Christy Carlson, both of them going for the same line. They bang, Christy gets high sided and goes down. Just as she comes up, Ashley Holomek has nowhere to go. Goes right over the top of her ski. Definitely some fiberglass damage there, but fortunately no injuries. Could have been disastrous. Here's another angle, Michelle Baines, Christy out wide, coming back in, trying to get the line. They bang, 
Christy high slides and goes down. Disastrous first turn. And the rest of the race has not been good for her as she continues to run in eighth place, trying to make up time. Here she goes, looking for seventh place, and it looks like she is not going to get it on this turn, Larry. So very uncharacteristic of her. Usually she can close those moves rather quickly. Christy, generally an artist at working through the traffic, but she is really struggling out there. Again, it could be a combination of a number of things, but one way or another, she does not look at home right now. Well, this race is all but over with Michelle Baines just finishing off the last few buoys. She looked very strong from the start, was not rattled at all by that accident, stayed on her boat. She will take the checkered flag and the women's moto number two. Tara Lejo finishes second place, and that's a big place for her because with Christie's finish in this second moto, that really moves her up in the points. Tina Martinez from Las Vegas, Nevada takes third place. And Tina will be pretty happy with that. That's the highest finish she's had thus far this season. Now the attention goes to the back side of the race course. All eyes are on Christy Carlson, last lap charge, trying to take up a couple more positions. Tammy Saracen trying to hold off, and Christy does get fired. She moves into sixth. And Tammy's trying to fight back, but Christy now moves into the sixth place position. Points very valuable at this point for Christy Carlson. Even though it looks like the race is over, she's got to try to move up as far as she can, try to minimize the point damage with Tara Lejo winning the first moto and getting a second in the second moto. She's charging hard for that finish line. Christy Carlson will take sixth place. It's time now for our team profile. And this week, we're going to take a look at some of the differences between being a sponsored rider versus being a privateer. There's a lot of components to being a good racer and to being a champion, somebody who wins all the time. I mean, you not only have to be in shape, you not only have to have good equipment and a good mental game, but you also have to have support. It's that support that really keeps you going week after week, you know, especially during uh, the winter, you know, during the cold days of practicing and when you're low on money and things like that, you know, it's that support that gets you out there and makes you feel confident to go and win. It's tough, you know, driving from spot to spot by yourself and you know, toting your boat down to the beach by yourself, you know, by the time you get down there you're really tired and it's, it's tough, you know. Um, I just wish I could have some top sponsor to help me out, but I kind of like doing it on my own sometimes because I don't really have to listen to anybody, I don't have any pressures, you know, from anybody and it's kind of cool. It really depends on, on, on what your involvement is in this. If you really like it, like I really like it, so it, you know, you just do what you got to do. But obviously some people have it a lot easier than other people. So, but maybe that's not what it's all about. Maybe it's just about being able to be a part of it and being able to race and being out there. And, and if you have to do it yourself, I think that that's great. Well, touring as a privateer can be a real struggle, but the majority agree that the efforts are well worth it. And despite an incredible early accident in lap number one, Michelle Baines wins moto number two. She is now down with Larry Rippenkroger. Larry? Well, let's talk about that. Now, on the start, both of you were seen to be side by side going into the first turn, a little bit of bumping going on. Were you aware of what happened to Christy shortly after that? No, I wasn't. I, I went into the first turn, and it was tight. Nobody really had the whole shot. And um, Christy was on the outside of me, and she pulled up right next to me, and it was really close there. I think it could have gone either way at a certain point and I think it got to the point where somebody was going to go down and luckily it wasn't me. Well great job today, congratulations again. Thanks a lot Larry. Congratulations to Michelle Bain. So after seven events, Tara Lejo is now our new overall points leader and that is definitely history in the making as she leads Christy Carlson by five points. Coming up next, the Prime Cup Sports Modified Final.